you can easily save integers in Unity, for example the player score, using something called player prefs. This method can be applied from any script that implements the Unity engine namespace, and all you need is to choose a name to identify the store data. For example, let's suppose we have a variable called score, where we are registering the player score. The first step would be to choose a meaningful name to identify the data to be saved, for example, max score. The instruction to save the data is this one playerprefs.setInt, in between parentheses, we pass two parameters separated by comma. The first one is the identification name, max score. The second parameter is the value we want to save. Here we pass the score variable. The instruction to read the data from memory is this other one, playerprefs.getInt, in between parentheses, we also pass two parameters separated by comma. The first one is the ID name of the variable we want to read, max score. And the second parameter is the value we're going to give to the variable in case there is no store information. So this is the instruction to load and we have to assign this instruction to the variable to initialize it. Finally, you just need to define where and when to use these instructions for saving and loading. This is something I can't really help you with, you will have to define it on your own, but I can give you an example. Here in Unity, I have this text to show the score and three buttons, one to increment the score, one to load and one to save. In my script, I will define a text mesh pro text variable and in update, I will write the value of the variable in that text. In Unity, I assign the text object in the inspector and now when I hit play, this text is constantly showing the value of the score variable. Link in the corner for more information on how to use text mesh pro. In the script, I will define three public functions to be executed by the buttons, one to increase the score, inside I write score plus plus, in the load function, I paste the player prefs instruction to load the data. In the save function, I paste the player prefs instructions to save the data. And finally, in Unity, I connect each button to one of the functions. We press play and increase the score. If we press load, we see the value zero because there is no information stored yet. So let's increase the score and save. Now, if we increase the score one more time and load, the variable shows the previously stored value. And the same happens if we exit the game, re-enter and press load. Alternatively, you can execute the load function in the start function, and that way, when the game is started, the max score is automatically loaded. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you next time.